Welcome back to the OHL Tonight on TV Kojiko. I'm Julie Stewart Banks at the K Rock Center, joined by Eric Branson. The Fronts are trailing 5 3 after the second period. Why are the Generals taking control of this game? You know, we've, we've gotten a penalty trouble, unfortunately. Uh, you know, we're obviously not happy with the calls, and uh, I think we shot ourselves in the foot a little bit, but, um, you know, there, some of them are pretty questionable calls that, uh, you know, I think that they'd hope to take back, but, um, you know, we just got to battle through it and come back stronger in the third. Now, so far this season, you've missed a total of 24 games between suspensions and between the World Juniors. How do you keep the momentum up on the ice with all that time off? Oh, it's just coming into practice. I mean, it's not like I've been off the skates and it's, uh, you know, haven't been, uh, you know, been injured or something like that. It's uh, just comes down to staying on the ice, working hard, and uh, just, you know, it's just getting the mindset uh, right. I mean, it's tough uh, coming back from World Juniors where it's so high paced to a little bit uh, slower here, but um, it's just about being prepared and, uh, you know, understanding what's around you. Now, you're a top ranked prospect for next year. How would you evaluate your on ice performance so far? You know, I thought I played well. Um, you know, I think in terms of, uh, you know, the next level, I've been pretty tough this year. Uh, you know, I feel a lot stronger this year. Uh, I'm in my offensive play. I think I've been stepping up, um, you know, but obviously there's a lot to work on. Uh, you know, it's going to be tough to make the National League next year, but, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to be working towards that. Right, and Florida's cleared a number of spots on their blue line with the trade deadline. Dennis Weidman, Brian McCabe, and Brian Allen all off. You think maybe one of those sp spots might be there for you? I really hope so. Uh, you know, it's it's uh, for a guy in my position, it's certainly a, a good day on the trade deadline. But, uh, you know, I, I was fortunate enough to, to play with those guys a few times and uh, learn a lot from them. Uh, you know, Caber and, uh, and Ali and, uh, and Wides, they were great guys to me and they were really helpful. So it was, it was nice to learn from them. But, uh, you know, it was, it was nice to see them uh, open up some spots. Now your younger brother Alex finishing up his first year in the OHL. How would you rank his on ice performance so far? I thought he's got better and better, uh, you know, as the games have gone on. Um, you know, he's uh, he's a very confident kid. He plays hard. He's extremely strong. I mean, he's not out of place in this league by any stretch. So uh, I think the front next and, and myself as his brother have been really uh, impressed with him. Now playoffs coming up in just a week. You could be taking on the Oshawa Generals here playing tonight. But depending on how Brampton does, you might be taking on the Niagara Ice Dogs. For this team, what kind of matchup would you prefer? Uh, you know, I think I think either team it's playoff hockey, and uh, you know that's where the upsets are. Um, you know, any team, whether you're your first place playing against the eighth place team, uh, you can be in tough. I mean, it's it's playoff hockey, and the the the, the game is a lot faster, a lot stronger, and it can go either way. So, uh, no matter who we play, we're going to be going hard, and we're going to be uh, well prepared for them. Now Grubauer out, obviously, is going to be out for a while, and Palazzi is going to be getting the start for the playoffs. Looks like your team has really come behind him. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's uh, it was tough to see Gruby go. I mean, he's a, uh, you know, in, in our minds, the number one goalie in the league, and uh, having him behind you, it's certainly a, a, a huge boost. But, you know, Frankie's only been getting better, so, uh, you know, we're getting real confident in front of him. Uh, he, he's been playing well, so, uh, especially around the kid, we got to show him that we're positive and whatnot, and that, uh, you know, we have confidence in him. So he's been, he's taking it and run. All right, so you're trailing by two goals. How do you make those up, and how do you come out with a big win for this team? You stay out of the box, that's for sure. Um, you know, we're just going to have to, you know, shut our mouths, stay out of the box, and, and just work hard. Uh, you know, like we did in the first period, we, we worked them down low pretty uh, pretty well, and uh, we just got to come back, play hard, and, uh, and finish the game off strong. Good luck in the rest of the game, and good luck in the rest of the season. Thank you. All right, let's take it back up to Mark Potter for out-of-town scores.